Microsoft just published the new functionality for Microsoft List, the board view. If you're using Microsoft Planner, it is very similar. My name is Shimon Bochniak from Microsoft 365 at work. I will advise you when to use what? Microsoft List or Microsoft Planner? Microsoft introduced board view for the Microsoft List. This is the solution that you will see is very similar to the way how Microsoft Planner looks like. If you're working with the Office 365, you already know there are multiple applications that helping to manage your personal or your team's tasks. And now you will need to decide when to use what from perspective of the managing of the task dedicated for your teams. On the one hand, you can use Microsoft Planner. On the second, you can try Microsoft Lists. My goal today is to show you when to use what and show you some kind of examples and differences between these two applications and help you to decide for what kind of business requirements which Office 365 application will fit better. Probably you will end up using both applications, but for the different use cases. This video will help you to make that kind of decision. If you will like this video, please leave the thumbs up. If you want to get the notifications about the new videos, please subscribe to the channel. And now we will switch to my screen. So we will start from perspective of the new functionality that is provided for Microsoft List. Now you can create the new view that will be the board view. If you did not work for the long time with the Microsoft list in general, you can also found additional views like calendar and galleries. You will find different videos on the channel that describe them. Today, we want to focus on the board view, which allows you to select some kind of status column that will group your records on the Microsoft list and help to create Kanban view. And you will see this is very similar view to the way how the Microsoft Planner works on the general level. Now you can see that our records are organized based on the column and we can easily switch them and change their status by dragging and dropping the records between the statuses very simple way. You have also the new records that you can bring and switch between the status using this very easy to use view and add additional buckets which will be the new value for the drop down menu. You can see you cannot edit the records from directly here but the panel will open and you can manage all that data exactly in the new view. You can see this is not some kind of game changer for Microsoft list but at the same time it makes your life very easy from perspective of the processes when you have to switch the records between the steps and this is the main task you're doing behind it you can imagine the help desk or processing some kind of content between the people before it will be published this is the perfect solution to manage that kind of records and again you can see this is very similar solution to the microsoft planner when we will go back to the Microsoft Planner, you can see that we have very similar solution when we can create the buckets and move the records between the steps. And the styling is a little better. You have more advanced solutions in here from perspective how the records are presented. But at the same time, you have to know that elements that are in here are structured based on the planner setup. So you can see from perspective of the functionality, how you're managing the tasks, there are no that big differences there, but there will be few elements that you should consider when you choosing between Microsoft Planner and the Microsoft Lists with the board view. So let's start from perspective of the Microsoft Planner. When use this application to manage the tasks? First of all, you need to remember that this is a centralized application that aggregate all planners in the organization where you are assigned to. You can manage the tasks that are assigned from the specific planner or plan publishing of your articles on the blog. But what is important, this is the centralized application that is quite simple, structured in a specific way. So if you will open the record in the Microsoft planner, these are the 
possible elements that you can have here and nothing more. So there's no way to customize the way how the form looks like, what kind of the data you want to structure there. You can also add the comments, attachments or checklists, but this is the most what you can get. The also security is limited to the planner, so every person who is assigned to specific plan in the planner could edit all records in there. Plus, from perspective of some kind of tracking, there's no that much version history in here. But if you're looking for the very simple, predefined solution that you can immediately deploy, this is the solution you should select to speed up the process of work of your team or, or your personal task management. One more thing, Planner is also available on the mobile application where Microsoft List is in progress on, on that side. In case of the Microsoft list, you can manage multiple applications in here, build some kind of processes around it, but you need to remember that it doesn't have to be focused on the tasks around the team. And you can imagine that some of these applications could be around publishing information on the social media, maybe different apps will be focused on the registrations of the purchase orders. On the other hand, it could be contact list of the people across the organization. But all of these applications can be customized by you. If you will go back to our issue tracker, you can create multiple views here. You can add the columns, you can customize the views, you can structure that kind of solutions whenever you want. But remember, you will need to do that. Of course, there are some templates on the channel. You will find the video how to use them. But if you want to build specific application unique for your team, you will need to set it up step by step. To be fair, I very like that kind of approach. But if you need to invest some kind of time to build the application, it will be good if it will be more complex than standard plan in the planner. And one more thing, you can manage the security on the item level, you can get the version history of the record, you can find additional elements, you can manage multiple attachments interconnected with that record. So if you're looking for something more complex, you have more advanced business requirements to the task management solution, Microsoft List could help you to do that. You can see that Microsoft List board view is very similar to the Microsoft Project board view. If you want to get the solution that will be immediately available for your users, will have very simple structure, does not require any complex security setup, select the planner. It is super simple solutions, works perfectly well, and in such cases it will handle your business requirements. If you imagine that your process or maybe application that will be behind that kind of Kanban view will be more advanced, I recommend you to use Microsoft Lists. You will get the possibility and flexibility to extend the solution, to use more advanced reporting, maybe very restricted security setup, and you will have more possibilities to customize and extend your application in the future. Right now, I recommend you to play with both applications. I'm closer to the Microsoft list, but at the same time using Planner for the very simple business cases. Play with them, try them and check which application will work for what kind of business cases you will have there. If you want to learn more about Planner and Microsoft Lists, you will find more videos on the channel that digging through these applications. For now, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.